Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is it worth picking up in 2020? Initially released in 2015 by CD Projekt Red, an interest for this title has been renewed once again by the Netflix series. Average number of people playing this game made a new record just last week, clocking in more than 100,000 players. Which is 10% more than when the game released 5 years ago. It's just ridiculous that some people totally missed this title in the past. I also wanted to revisit Witcher, especially now. When I last played it, I didn't have a YouTube channel, so this is my first and official coverage of this game. Now, where do I start from? Witcher at the first glance looks like a decent third-person RPG, but as you dig deeper into the world, you will learn that under the layer of vast landscape, countless of loot items and strange monster types is a rich story with complex characters and witty narrative. You play as Geralt of Rivia, who is voice-casted by Doe Cox who I also mentioned gave his voice to Victor Bran. A top-down Diablo-like RPG with more futuristic weapons. I mean, you can even shoot chickens, but not at the chickens, but you can actually shoot the chickens. Go watch this review right after this video ends. And smash that like button. Geralt, as you know, is a sword for hire where monsters need to be dealt with or people go missing. A detective with powerful senses and the knowledge of making potions more useful than any pharmaceutical company. So I decided to once again dive into this fantastic world to see if anything has changed in the game or in my heart. Witcher has a humorous and interesting questline, both side and main. Sure, you'll find some fetch quests, but the dialogue and cutscenes surrounding everything are so captivating that I wouldn't even dare to skip any of those. Whether it's searching for testicles or killing monsters, I found myself immersed in this world. All the quests have twists and turns, and plenty of opportunities to change the outcome, as this game presents a lot of choices with multiple paths, guiding you to the ultimate finale. There are 36 different endings for Witcher 3. This is both good and bad because, uh, you know, it's good because there are a lot of endings and outcomes, but it's bad that I will never see 35 of them. Unique sound effects and music keeps every city, land or even a household different. There are giant lands to explore, with each one of them having a slightly different setting. Well, I'm not even going into this, but Blood and Wine expansion just looked fantastic. You will get immersed into this world, as did I. You explore the caves, sail the seas and travel the lands on a horseback. You collect ingredients, books and letters, you have thousands of them. Too many to read. You experience changing weather conditions, rain, storms, wind and calmness that takes away your breath as you see the sun go down. Water effects and other details were improved in December of 2017. The patch 1.6 upscaled the graphics to 4K resolution. The graphics now and even then were marvelous, are marvelous. But are the graphics acceptable even today? Yes. Yes, they are. If you count in the factor that this game is almost 5 years old, then a bit of uh, off-base lip-sync is totally forgivable. What I wanted to cover again is the complexity of this storyline. Nothing is monotonous, every character has depth, every joke is well-placed and the Geralt's Witcher sense of humor combined with the situations he's constantly put into always makes me laugh. What the hell's this? Rosa Linta. One, I could forgive you, but two at one time! DLCs, which were released months after the initial release, were well worth the money. Countless of missions, compelling narrative and plenty of areas to discover, both on the new added map area and the old, already explored lands, both were filled with question marks, which basically are the areas you need to discover. I'm not quite sure about the digital version of Witcher, but all the physical DLC copies came with the Quent Guard game, and all the content before and after DLCs were free, free to download. So CD Projekt Red, you have my attention for giving massive value for money compared to other studios. Cyberpunk 2077 is also considered to use a customer-friendly monetization policy, and I really want to support them, thus I will get the collector's edition no matter what. 
But back to Witcher, I'm not getting into details about the gameplay, but one of the most uh, debate-inducing discussions always boils down to the fighting mechanics of this title. Worth a buy and even many of my friends really destroyed their good reviews just because they didn't like smashing the buttons. I mean, <laughs> buttons are there to be smashed always and anyways. What did you expect? But the only button you should be worried about smashing right now is the like button down below. Do it right now! So, people didn't like that. The combat was dull, boring and smashy smashy. But disregarding everything just because of that. Come on now. I, on the other hand, didn't play on extra easy setting and got my ass handed to me quite a few times. Witcher is now out on Nintendo Switch as well. And I even covered the unboxing of this system and the game, of course. Please visit this video too. So, what do I think about Witcher? Well, there are a few negative things to say as well. It's, it's near impossible to achieve a platinum trophy. For me, at least. I hate the fact that difficulty settings determine your faith. And if you take a few wrong turns in your 200 hour journey, then you can miss some Gwent cards and kiss your trophy goodbye. Otherwise, I adore this game. I give Witcher 3 Wild Hunt a 9 out of 10. Since the Witcher series broke the Netflix and uh, toss a coin to your Witcher also gained traction, I decided to do a small dance remix of it as well. I just love producing and audio design overall, that's my bread and butter anyways, plus editing. Here is a tiny, rough sample of it. Uh, it takes months to, to complete, but you know, at least I have done something. And please do check my other content as well. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell, and if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas, and thanks for watching. Till next time!